You've just won the third leg of your fourfold multiple. One race to go. With Betfair, you can now cash out on racing multiples. Do you? Don't you? Join Betfair, download the Sportsbook app and get a free bet up to £25. Cash out. Do you? Don't you? Hi everybody, welcome to Royal Ascot on day three and of course it is Gold Cup Day. Now the promised rains have not arrived overnight so it's still going to be riding on the quick side. It's not to say there won't be the odd downpour between now and post time but it's going to have to be plenty to make any appreciable difference to the ground and Ascot and indeed racing as a whole is agog at the prospect of a win for Her Majesty the Queen with Estimate, a past winner here of the Queen's Vase. Huge chance, needs to improve considerably. Estimates already plenty short in the market because the bookmakers know there's just going to be tons of patriotic and or sentimental cash for her. And I, for the winner, I'd look elsewhere. Sadler's Rock, really good run in this when placed last year. And John Ox assures me he comes here, this horse, in much better frame of mind than last year. Going to Maidan early in the year, got the sun in his back, did him a lot of good. And whereas 12 months ago, he came on to Ascot 13 days after running in the Savile Beg in Ireland. This time he comes here fresh and the ground will suit him as long as it doesn't turn into a quagmire, which is now almost impossible. But there are plenty of others in one of the biggest fields since the general strike for the Ascot Gold Cup. There are certainly words around the place for biographer of David Lanigan's. And there are plenty of others you could give a chance to write a passage if taking part. It's a really wide open gold cup, but I go for Sadler's Rock for John Ox from Ireland. Now, earlier in the day, the Ribblesdale, I haven't met an Irishman this week who hasn't tipped me Fozzy Stacks horse, which is the one at the top, called Alive Alive O, as in cockles and mussels. But I'm told that Win Silly of John Gosden's has done anything but go backwards since winning at Newbury, and that form has been very well franked indeed. Duck the Oaks to go for the Ribblesdale, and I'm with Win Silly against the alleged good thing from Ireland in the Ribblesdale. Now, even if Estimate gets beaten, everyone, it would be fantastic scenes here if she won the Gold Cup. Even if Estimate gets beat, there's been a persistent message for the Queen's bold sniper in the last race on the card, trained by Sir Michael Stout. It's drawn pretty ordinarily, but Ryan Moore can plot a course from the 16 box. It's got a big chance. Bold sniper could yet be the royal farewell to Gold Cup Day. <laughs> 